Welcome to What's to Eat. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, here to show you the very best your community has to offer in phenomenal, wonderful, delectable, and great food, healthy and nutritious. Today I'm joined for an amazing, amazing chef, Chef Tudi, from Brewster Pastry. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Welcome, Hello. Chef Tudi. Thank you. I'm so happy for you to be here because I adore everything you make. Uh, can you tell me how it all got started? I started uh, from the beginning. I was uh, going to school and I was walking to school and passing on the front of a window and the baker was running the baguette every day. I was stopping five minutes and I said, "One day I want to be baker. Yeah. At 16, I said, that's what I want to be. Wow. And I went uh, apprenticeship mm -hmm. for three years. Mm -hmm. I learned all uh, pastry, bakery, everything mm -hmm. in France. Mm -hmm. And after 20, I... Went to Nice, yeah. my first real job for five months. I was a chef baker. <laughs> and after those five months, the Club Med wow. Resort called me. They want me to move and uh, go to travel and mm -hmm. uh, show mm -hmm. and teach baker all over the world. I wow. say, I mean, I stayed there for 12 years. Wow. All over the world. All over the world you've been. Yeah. And wow. That was the, Unbelievable. the starting of, came in America. I met my wife in the Bahamas, in the Club Med. Mm -hmm. Me, I was mm -hmm. baking. She was a hostess. Aww. And uh, I moved to America. After three years, we got married. Yes. Now, I'm married, three kids. Aww. A house. And I <laughs> built my bakery 12 years ago. Wow. In Brewster. Yeah, in yeah. Brewster. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's amazing is um, you make such phenomenal... I had the a most amazing treat of teaching your peach cake. And I saw the whole process of how you make it. Well, thank you. And I say as a nutritionist that it's uh, with my patients, my office is an RD, that sometimes it's important to have great things and foods that have sweet or fat, but quality, not quantity. True. And I saw that throughout Paris, that people were sitting down and having lovely croissant and lovely baked goods, but they were eating less of it, but quality. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, <clears throat> and that's what I know you do. So, um, what is your favorite thing to make? My favorite thing, uh, the croissant. Yeah. The croissant for me is like, uh, it's French, like yeah. I am. And I do the same recipe that I did when I was apprentice. Yeah. I didn't change anything and I use only butter, yeah. top quality flour, and that's it. The rest is all the technique to make it. It is. It's all the concept of make it, roll it, pass it, wait, right. the door proof, and is the, the way to, to do it. How, to, how, how many hours does it take? I had many croissants in, uh, in Paris as well as Nice. How many hours does it take to make a croissant? Well, croissant for me at the bakery take almost two days wow. because I mix the dough the first day. Yeah. I uh, put it in the refrigerator. Right. I put for almost 24 hours. Oh. After I put the butter in it right. and it, I put the first turn, means a fold, mm -hmm. and I wait another four hours. Mm -hmm. After mm -hmm. I pass another fold, and I wait another three hours, yeah. and the last fold, the dough is done. Wow. I put it back in the freezer to, yeah. I call that to kill the yeast, like that is not proofing sure. anymore. Sure. And the third day, it's, um, I pull the dough out. Now we flat it down like almost thin, like the sampanada. Uh -huh. And we cut it in triangle or uh, with the chocolate. Right. And we roll it, and we make it proof and baked. Ah. Uh. That's the the thing, and we have some here. Yes. We have some here. Here, I can show you. Show. I can show you the 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 produce finish. That's what we Let's do. Uh, now we have the chocolate over here, almond filled with a real almond cream. We make a special almond cream. We cut the croissant in half, and we fill it inside with almond cream. The other one is the plain. And my favorite is still the plain with the hot chocolate in the morning. Oh, uh, yeah, I was thinking of you when I was in Paris, because you still have the most phenomenal croissant. Phenomenal. It was absolutely wonderful. The light texture airiness that you have, and that comes from your experience where it all yeah, began. Yeah. Where were you born in France? I was born in Vesoul. Vesoul. is east of France, on a, in the border of Germany and Switzerland. Okay. I'm one hour from Germany, uh, 45 minutes from Switzerland. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. That's wonderful. So, so you have something today is empanada. So yes. What are you doing for us today? Well, today we're going to do uh, two kind of empanada. I can do more, but because we're in the studio, we bring some. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sure. We're going to do apricot. Okay. And uh, raspberry. 
And that's, that, that's the dough we made. I made it in the bakery. Mm-hmm. Opala dough is made with cream cheese. Oh, it's okay. cream cheese, butter, flour, and heavy cream. Okay. That's the dough. I mean, this is all pure uh, right ingredient. Wow. I don't... Uh, Let me just show this. Beautiful. Then yeah. that's your base. That's okay. the base, yes. How we okay. cut from when we make, we make like 100, 120 in, a, in one batch. And uh, we fill them up. Are we going to start with the apricots? Wonderful. Apricot. We, we we make a nice, nice. And I try to always make a little bit fat and to go a little bit around. Uh, okay. Like that, when you take a bite, yeah, you get a piece of apricot everywhere. Then wow. if I just do it like that, that's the difference. The edge is so nothing. Oh, that's the difference in what you know and and other somebody that doesn't. Every single bite, you get a taste that's of it. the apricot. And oh. I got to tell you, I taste. I love all what I all what I make. <laughs> Not good for my diet, but I test everything. A it's taste just tester too. Yes, and I like Aww. when I eat an empanada. I just don't want to eat the edge. <laughs> I want to eat the whole thing with a good bite, and also not too much. Right. Because if you put too much, when you eat it, the power of the fruit and the sugar uh-huh. will overpower the dough. You have to be the the mix when you eat it. Interesting. It's all Very the, interesting. the plus. Yes, and that oh. comes from all your lovely experience. Yeah, oh, when we make it, that's a little trick of the trade. Yeah. We, I just water a little bit the edge mm-hmm. with my water. It's just pure water. Uh-huh. And now we close them. Mm-hmm. You see, like that, when we close, it's only that edge we have no... And you go to see what I do after to make sure Fascinating. everything is... Uh, yeah. I flat it down a little bit more uh-huh. to push the raspberry or, or the oh, apricot okay. all the way to the end. Uh, when you eat it, it can only be good every bite. <laughs> uh, that's the apricot. We're going to do the same after with the raspberry. Mm-hmm. And you can see I'm going to flat it on because we have to make a... It's going to be steamy a little bit. Oh, I flat it on to make sure the apricot go and make sure that it's nice and tight. Because uh-huh. if it's not tight enough, the filling come out. Oh, okay. And you got nothing. Right. Uh, that uh, is no good. Oh, I make, always make a little hole. The steam is The steam coming out. That yeah. is not pushing the edge to come out. Okay. All right, I have to show. So this is uh, the next step of making the empanadas by our chef Teddy. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now we're going to make the, the raspberry. Mm, I can smell them. The aroma is just oh, intoxicating. No, that's, that's, that's what I like. Oh, amazing. The raspberry. All fresh fruit. All fresh uh, fruit. Yeah, all uh, feeding sugar. You know, it's no... is it, sugar and fruit. Sure. And I, sure, you need I, to I have a little sugar. I, and I put little butter in right. my... Uh, in my fi- some of the filling. Do you? Like that when they cook, uh-huh. the butter make the form. The form is not coming that high. Oh, okay. And they don't go overboard the pot right. when you make them. That's interesting. Well, I learned a lot today. Lovely things like this, yes, they have sugar and they have fat, and they're not what you would call uh, on a diet. But when you eat less and eat phenomenal great foods, especially with this lovely luxury of being homemade, you want to eat less and you tr- totally enjoy the experience uh, Chef yeah, Teddy is making. Yeah, quality is not shortening, is not, uh, you know, uh, you, can make dif- that's yeah. it. you can make a different, right. even a little bit cheaper too. Right. But at the end... Uh, that's like I say, when you eat it, <laughs> you remember what is good. You bet. For me, I don't change. I learned it in France, and I went all over the world for teach some of the baker. Yeah. And I didn't ever change. Yeah. Because that was a French company, of course, Club Med. Sure. I was doing French bread like we do in France. I was providing oh. a buffet who represent France in every oh. country I was. Oh. I mean, that was easy for me. Uh, I used, didn't change anything. And when I came here, yeah. I worked for a bakery in, in Scarsdale and Port Washington uh-huh. in Nogara. Uh-huh. They was hiring me to do some of the French produce that they cannot make it. Uh, I, sure. I was doing for them. And after I say, oh, I make them to make the money. Sure. Why I don't do it myself? <laughs> I did it by myself 12 years ago. And, and that's what we do in my, my bakery. Absolutely mm-hmm. amazing. Mm-hmm. And again, the same thing. These are the raspberry. Made from scratch. No trans fats. Fruit and fruit puree. Everything made, homemade, it smells amazing. So these are the finished products, as you can see, and they're absolutely amazing. Oh, the aroma and everything coming to me. And these are the raspberry, um, the blueberry, the guava, um, and then we have some chicken, and also we have some uh, vegetable. And they're all baked, homemade. So everything wonderful. Everything is homemade. We don't, 
I go to the store, buy what I need, vegetable, I need the carrots, the onion, the celery. I cook them before, I, I cook them halfway. Yeah. Then when, when I put in them, uh, there. they finish to bake another 20 minutes in the oven. That's what makes the consistency nice and smooth. The, the chicken uh, panada or veggie yeah. panada is uh, healthy. Yeah. That's why I bring uh, that line. Uh, with the veggie, because the people are asking me, absolutely, say, can you make it other with the fruit? I say, yeah, I try. absolutely. I did make that before. I learned it in the United States. Sure. I put combined co some recipe that I was having, and sure. I came out of the produce like that. And, and with it with came out. with the vegetables, I make always test the customer first. You know, I make plenty. They test. They like it. It's okay. Good. It's good to put on the line. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have uh, from one of my offices, I treat children with all kinds of nutritional disorders. And right now I can share in terms of what an amazing way to introduce children to vegetables. And such a homemade, yeah. wonderful way that's crisp and delicious and fresh. And that can introduce them to, oh, yeah, to really healthy and great most foods. Of the time, most of the time, they're plain. Plain is good, but it's plain. Right. Me, a uh, little garlic, little uh, paprika, little uh, other flavor. Sure. Now you, you combine a nice, uh, right. it's nice and, and uh, good to eat. Is it, you put salt too, even if it's for diet or whatever, the salt helps to make a good vegetable too. Sure, absolutely, yeah. in moderation, yeah, in yeah, balanced yeah. moderation. Wow, what wonderful treat. So what do we have next? Next we're going to do a strawberry shortcake. Oh, lovely. With real whipped cream, uh -huh. fresh strawberry, oh. uh, like we do in the bakery. Now you're going to do, learn a little trick of the trade. To, you see, I make a, an upside down uh, strawberry shortcake. Wow, what a As treat! A French style. Wonderful. Uh, oh, you know, today I'm going to give you a surprise. Oh, a surprise. Surprise, huh? You go to do the same thing I do. Oh, you go to do, do, how do yours, and I go to do mine. Oh, what a but treat! That, we got everything. What a treat! Of course, I uh, buy the strawberry fresh every day. I mm -hmm. go in the market every morning. Try when you have whipped cream not to have the cool whip no. or the ready made. To, it makes it's very yeah. easy to and make even regular whipped cream, whip cream you right? You go in the store, you buy a little quart or right. half a quart. You don't have to right. buy too much. Yeah. You put in a in a bowl, little oval is always sure. you know like curve. Right. You take the whip and you mix it till it's not too hard. It's not right. get butter. Right. Nice and smooth, and even if you just fresh strawberry. It's a bit of whipped cream, so even if you don't put any sugar. I agree. If the strawberry is good, it's why I buy Driscoll, not nothing. They could no, have I'm, publicity no, in that no, one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Then uh, they always, most of the time, they are constant during the years because right. I do that every week. Yeah, yeah. Price of the strawberry, I don't care. Right. Because customer asks me to make that Quality way. and quality. Yes. Yeah. I don't change. I agree. I want the fruit. The fruit is what makes the flavor of the cake. The cake, I trim it all the time a little bit because it's always... Go the edge. I cut the edge. Mm -hmm. See, easy to make all even. Uh huh. Now that cake got to be cut in four. Uh huh. Four layer. Or you can do the same thing at home. Is easy. Okay. Even if you don't have that, you can just build the cake like that. Uh huh. One cake, strawberry, little bit cream, and a bullet on up, and you do an open face. Uh, many people ask me for so wedding. Beautiful. Right. You want the open face, like yes. no, no cream around. Right. Wow. Beautiful. You need two pieces for you and two pieces for me. Ah. That's going to be your strawberry. Thank you. No, that's good to be mine. And we have to have the ring. And we put the ring there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you one and after you can do the same thing. Okay. Uh, I cut the strawberry. Try to always cut it flat. Mm -hmm. Like that, Very they good. stay nice against the ring. Uh huh. Nice and flat. You see, if you don't cut flat, they go on the side, and the cream, when we put it in, will cover the strawberry. And oh, how good. I take the, That's wonderful to know. So I can give you that. Okay. I can take the so, bigger knife for me. You cut the edge, you're good. Now, you, uh, oh, you cut it. Yeah, you have to cut it. Right. Let me show you, like that. You cut it straight here, mm -hmm. and, and you then... cut right in the middle, right in the middle, nice and straight like that. That edge go against the ring. And strawberries are full of such wonderful vitamin C and potassium, and I'm always saying to my patients to get the colors of the rainbow in in a week, and strawberries are a lovely way to do that. Yeah, strawberries good. And such a wonderful treat, like you said, just some fresh strawberries with some real whipped cream, not cool whip yes. or ready whip. Oh, I, I, um, I whip it just before I came here. It's easy because I make a big batch. Yeah. Oh, it's easy. 
but if not, you do it at home. You don't have to make too much. And yeah. only buy. No. If you make it, just buy the little thing. Yeah. Don't buy too much. If not, you, you go to trade away or you can put it in the coffee. And if you have extra... No, absolutely. You eat it. <laughs> uh, many times when I go over someone's house, uh, entertaining, I always bring berries and real whipped cream. And I put a couple of nuts on it. So if the sugar is too high... The nuts bring the glycemic index okay. down. Mm -hmm. I do that. Yeah. For me, I'm careful with the nuts. And so many people are allergic. Oh, I know. Or the I agree. Ask, That's very, uh, very. No, and no. He's, yeah. he's coming with every everything. Absolutely. Oh, I do no nuts. No, 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 no. You don't want to do yeah. nuts. I'm saying that. Uh, At home, yeah, you do. I love, yeah. yeah. But I agree with you. So many people have sensitivities. You're fixing mine. I know. You're the. <laughs> you're the. <laughs> I'm chef. a bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I've never done this before, but listen, Chef hey, today, so be patient. I'm with very me. patient. I even give you hands <laughs> to put some in. See, now we have to make the junction. Yes. Now you squeeze it a bit to put the last one. Okay. And even if it's a little bit tight, that's what you want. Oh, okay. You put you a, need little a little piece. one there. Yeah, a little one there. <laughs> okay, now you got it. Okay. Well, that have to be centered to the to the dollies. We call uh -huh. the dollies okay. on the bottom. Now you go to take one of the sponge. Uh -huh. Now you go to put it inside like that center, mm -hmm. and you push the edge. Uh -huh. I don't know if you can see it from the camera, I'm pushing okay. the edge right away in the bottom, all the way in the bottom. Then like that the cream go to cover the strawberry. Okay. Wow! Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, I'm going to try this. Okay, so I press this down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's always good. And sometimes, more to that, I didn't bring any syrup. Uh, I put some syrup sometimes instead to soak the sponge a little bit to get the flavor, you know. And it's moist, moist too. Okay, nice, good. Mm. Beautiful, very nice. Okay. Oh. Getting better. Now I got the whipped cream. The whipped cream we, we make. Are you good to see? Oh, love real whipped cream. I put the whipped cream out between each. Each strawberry to the top oh, to cover it, because we're going to make like a wall. I call that the wall of the cake. Oh, interesting, fascinating. Um, and this is a lovely, lovely thing uh, you have for the holidays. Yeah, not yeah, too rich, not yeah. too um, uh, overdone, but at the same time, so yeah. delicious. And you could see how much <laughs> fruit that cake take. People don't realize when you do it well. You got to put all the fruit inside. All the food's got to be inside. <laughs> I'm not a chef. <laughs> I can help you if you want. Yes. Okay. That's. <laughs> it's good for you know. It's when you're not used to, that's fine. The feel for it, but that's yeah. what makes you so special and so amazing at what you do is the talent and experience you brought from France. Yeah, and here. And right now I got one apprentice. Right yeah. now. Do uh, you? Yeah. Yes. Wow. She's a girl, a lady, uh -huh. and she loves it. Uh, she wants to learn, and she asked me, I said, okay, I'll teach you. She's here for me, with me for one and a half years, and she's doing very great. Oh, that's and wonderful. And she knows what I do. Uh, it's, that's wonderful. It's a plus. Yes. And I like to teach. Nah. Okay, uh, that, the, the whipped cream is in it. Uh -huh. Now we're going to build the wall. Okay. Because we want all that to be smooth around. Uh. Okay. I go like that with the spatula. You see, I push the cream. Mm -hmm. I push the cream inside. Uh -huh. Especially on the bottom, uh -huh. that has go well between the strawberry. Okay. All the way to the top. Uh-huh. See? And I make sure at the bottom, because that's what goes to hold the cake. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, that's what it's supposed to be. Oh, that's what it's supposed to be. To be finished. I'll show, uh, finish. I'll show definitely what yours looks like is what it's supposed to be. And then I'm going to attempt. <laughs> That's the easy I'm, part. I'm going, just, you, I'm going to attempt to, to, to do with your appeal. Yeah. The best you hold it in the angle like that, in the angle a little bit, and you push okay. the cream inside. Okay. And you scrape, when, look like that. Yeah. And you scrape when you go, you scrape it. Like that, you don't Oh, have. okay. All right. I'll try. See? Yes. <laughs> you do much better than I do, <laughs> Teddy. You're That's a wonderful, okay. Wait, listen. You're a wonderful teacher. Wonderful. <laughs> This you do a amazing. three or four like that. You go to do a dome. After you go to be the same than I do. That's an easy one to, <laughs> to, to, to teach. Beautiful. Okay. Next. Our uh, next. Now we fill it up with the strawberry. Okay. Well, now we go to cut. And we cut them a different way. Well, no. Now you can okay. cut it the way you want it. Okay. The way I want it. Well, okay. I mean, I always cut it half. Half. And that's what most of the time. Like most of the time when we do that, we do like a dozen of cake. Mm -hmm. I one of my helper. 
can cut the strawberry before. Yeah. And then that when we start, it's just like that will be ready. But they do it when we do the cake. Uh -huh. I don't want any strawberry cut before. Because they lose the juice, they, they, it's not the same. Ah, I'm picky. <laughs> no, absolutely. Picky is the best, that's why it's, it's the best. And that's the full full flavor. We go to taste it after, you know. <laughs> I want to make sure it's good. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And this oh. one, this was a little underripe. Good? That's okay, yeah, because we're okay. going to cover with the, the cream. Okay. That will absorb the thing. Oh, you make sure the little flat. Flat. Make sure of that because we've after we're going to put uh, now we put a little bit whipped cream in it, mm -hmm. just not too much. That's a little layer. Yes, you can do that. You have the you have the touch, the bag. chef today. I'll let you and, do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I flat it down a little bit uh -huh. because that's give a little bit the flavor too. And after. We put the sponge. Uh -huh. uh, let me flat it on a little bit for you. Thank the you. The cream. Merci. Mais avec plaisir, madame. <laughs> <laughs> the cream, all the cake. See, the cream, all the cake together. Because uh -huh. if you cut it, if you don't put any cream on it, when right. you cut, the cake goes to fall apart. That's true. That's yes. all the thing, like oh, a okay. cement. <laughs> like cement, sure. Yeah. I guess and now so. you push it. Enough done is... Always have to be lower than the ring. Because oh, now okay. we get to fill the ring... With uh, with the with cream, you can see. Mm. Oh put my goodness! Special and the edge. Amazing. Uh, now you put the top. That's the end of. That's the the close. Mm -hmm. We can go. Oh, uh, now I'm going to almost finish the cake. Okay. Oh, you see is space between the ring. Right. Oh, you want to take the cream? You take it with your spatula. You see uh -huh. like that, and you push it back in, and you push it in. See, like that first. Sure. And you always... And you make sure you don't touch the sponge to don't carry the sponge all over. Or you cover it nice. And you always push, see? That's when you use the spatula. It's cream in the spatula. You put it there. And you carry it all the way around. Like that, your ring is always full. And your sponge, when you take it out, it's going to be nice and smooth. And the final touch. Wow. That's so the final shirt. Clean the spatula. Wow. And you don't... Oh, that's the looking of the, that's it, that's the Magnificent. cake finish. Now you go to do your, we're going to leave that one here for now. <laughs> now you go to do your. Now I got to yeah. do mine. Okay. It's okay. Now we have the bucket, we can scare, even if you put a little bit more, it's okay. Yes, yeah, so, okay. That, okay. Well, now, what a wonderful treat. When the holiday come, I call you <laughs> and I say, oh, you go to make my strawberry shortcake in the store. <laughs> yes, I show up at your bakery. That's it. I go True. to do your like I do at the bakery. Everyone, <laughs> when I finish them like that, mm -hmm. I always put it on my turning table. <laughs> that, that is easy. It's easy. And I can turn it the way I want it, each size, take the edge out. And now, uh, see, the, the spatula is what you learn. Mm -hmm. Your spatula carry the cream everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. You got it all over. And now I bend a little bit the spatula. Mm -hmm. well, that's the produce delicious. finish. We're going to leave that one here. Mm -hmm. And I do with the bag. Mm -hmm. you, see, you can open the, the container. And we're going to put a nice strawberry on the top. Mm -hmm. And you do them whole? On top or yeah, choose yeah, yeah choose the, the, the nicer one uh -huh. whole with the leaves. Oh with, with the, the leaves. leaves. With the oh leaves, yeah. okay. Because I learned something. I like okay. to have it whole. Uh -huh. That is a nice with thing. Oh, I make okay. always a little rosette. Oh beautiful. There and you can hand that strawberry. But that's and put the it best over one here. that you think. That's it. And you can put another one here. Right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. to put the, the <laughs> because most of the people would like to me to write happy birthday or congratulations. Right. Many of the cake, uh, right. a lot of people ask to write something on it. That's the produce finish. That's yours. That's do you see me? Mm -hmm. When I do my, I like that one, the big, <laughs> the big strawberry, <laughs> because I always take some cream away. So, yeah. <laughs> voilà. Now that's the produce finish. Beautiful. Almost finished. Because Almost now, finished. Okay. That's what. You go to learn the trick of the tree, you go to think I'm a plumber because I'm carrying the blow torch. Huh? I mean, watch out, I don't put fire everywhere. There is one thing you can only take those rings out yeah. of the. Take the plastic the, away. 
No, no, it's okay. not, not good to go there. I just always clean the bottom so that it's not getting caramel. Mm -hmm. And now I blow torch the, the edge. I mean, you warm up a little bit the whipped cream. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Wow. 10 seconds. And you could see you move a little bit and. Oh, oh my goodness. How beautiful. It's it. Nice and smooth. How beautiful. Look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous. Very nice. Oh, now we're good to take exquisite. the other one. Take mine. Here. You think mine was set up? Yeah. This oh, way? yeah. We're good to. <laughs> That's the hard part because if you, you just do, give, do a little, little bit of the, the fire. Mm -hmm. Because if you do the, the whipped cream melt, right. now you will like. Right. <laughs> but you know how much. That I uh, wait a couple minutes, a couple of seconds, and I always it a little bit like that. That's it. That's your so sugar shortcake. Beautiful. Wow. And it's all homemade, made from scratch. Uh, so delectable, so delicious, um, and so worthwhile. Like I said, quality. And we go to taste it. Ah. That's what's the best part. <laughs> Unbelievable. And you, I see you have also wonderful other things that you bake here. Yeah, this one we do gluten-free. We just start a new line of gluten-free. Uh, this one is a chocolate uh, gluten-free. Hey, look how delicious that looks. And you can still be uh, have celiac or gluten problems and still enjoy the holiday. Lovely. You put this up here? Yeah, I'm just preparing the knife. That's the trick of the mm. tree to nice and nice, mm. nice clean cut. Well, I'm going to warm up the knife. Normally, it's not really the knife I use. I use a, a big butcher knife when I do that. Now I got my cake knife. Oh, you see, nice. the knife is hot. We're going to make a nice cut. Mmm, smells wonderful. You can so, smell the chocolate just permeating. Wow, isn't that exceptional? That's what uh, now you can see. Absolutely That's the inside. Beautiful. And all that is gluten free. The chocolate chocolate cake is gluten free too. Uh, the powder cream is gluten free. Chocolate mousse is gluten free. It's just whipped cream and uh, chocolate. That's exceptional yeah. and absolutely beautiful. Like and everything very you make. Oh, looks, thank you so much for being here today. My pleasure. Sharing I mean, your expertise. Very nice. Uh, I all love about that. your lovely bakery and um, all your lunch, lovely French. Homemade natural cuisine. Thank you. And it was an honor to learn how to make a sh strawberry shortcake with you. That Thank was you my so pleasure. Much. That was my pleasure. Thank a good time. Thank Merci. You. Merci. Merci, madame. Thank you. Remember, when you eat well and feel great, it's something you want to do for the rest of your life, even through the holidays. We have foods that are high sugar, high fat, but when we eat quality and homemade things, we eat less of it and we tend to really enjoy those things as Chef uh, Teddy has provided for us. Thank you so much. Thank you to my lovely TV crew. Have a good night.